Hello everybody, today I am going to select my bars from this huge IKEA box. I have got three of these big boxes and I store my Barbie dolls in these. First I'm going to select my 90s dollies and now that I know that what kind of dolls I would really want to get, I can select my doll collection because I have got many boxes, three big boxes like this one and I have got two other where I store the dolls I bought at the flea market since I need more money for the precious dolls which are more expensive than these I have to select well I'm going to start with all of these and we will see what will I keep and what will have to go of course first of all I have got this mermaid one which will stay she is in perfect condition and I had to wait for her for a long 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 time and I got her from the United Kingdom then this man well I really don't know what to do with him um, he has got hair and I don't really have uh, too much candles so I think I'm going to keep him and I bought especially this dress for him because he's going to be the grandpa in the family um, now I think I'm going to keep him uh, I definitely keep this little girl. I fell in love with her face mold. She is a gorgeous doll. I also have a review of her on my site. Then, on the second layer, I always have these uh, bubble thingies, plastic things in between all the doors. I don't want to... Um, have bent legs and this room is very very warm or I can say hot during the summertime because I don't have air conditioner here and uh, the afternoon sunlight is very very hot here so that's why I try to manage um, to have layers in between these girls now let's see this layer well I don't like that doll at all but that was my mom one and only childhood Barbie doll I think it's a fake one but since she was the only one I'm going to keep her I don't really like this um, eyeshadow and her face mold but well you know it's quite difficult to let go all the memorabilia so she will definitely stay the next doll is a heart family mama and I really really love this little dress I chose this for her specially I think she looks really cool in it so definitely she will stay the next girl who well um, she was a very very difficult decision because she is a doll from the 80s I took care of her hair it's in a really nice condition first I wanted to sell her I also put her photos on Facebook sales group but after that I changed my mind so she will stay and I will give her some kind of uh, nice dress then well that was one of the first dollies I could buy at the flea market and because she has got these very nice eyes this is the sparkle eyes Barbie that's why I kept her I don't really like her hairstyle but well uh, maybe she is a go this one I'm going to keep because I wanted this doll for a very very long time she is the wedding day Mitch doll which has got beautiful stars in her eyes and she is gorgeous and she's in her original outfit the next dolly is also a very special one because I have got a Miko doll and she is from the 80s so now I have got two dolls from the 80s which I'm going to keep and this is the third one and she's also in her original outfit and I tried to restyle her hair too she has got really adorable eyes and she is in the original outfit I washed and she is really pretty. Now the next layer, let's move on. I really want to keep the 90s dolls because this was the time when I was a child. I really wanted to get all of these uh, dolls. There are 
thousands of different types but I couldn't uh, get any of these because they were not available in my country that time so now they are really really precious and I really love them well ah, what about this girl I really like her face but the hair mm, maybe she's a go then I have got the skating star dolly and I couldn't get her outfit but I really love this little girl and I bought her a skater outfit so she will stay in that dress and it was really difficult to find all the little pieces for this little girl I bought separately all the pieces even the cape and the skates so I am very proud of her and she's going to stay. It was also very difficult to build this little girly because I had only one head. So I had to find a body, the dress and all the little pieces. These are not her original shoes but goes very well with this dress. Then the next one is a brand new out of the box. I love the Traveling Sisters dolls and they were my all-time favorite. And this girl is coming from Germany so she is really precious and I just opened her brand new from the box. And also this little girl, which was my very, very favorite one from the doll catalog. When I was a child, I was looking at that catalog daily and she was my dream dolly. So I'm very happy that I could buy her in boxed version. And the next one is also a really adorable piece. And uh, since I don't have too many... Um, Afro-American dolls I'm going to definitely keep her and I think these dollies are really nice and I clearly knew that I want the 90s dolls so that's why I have got such a big collection from all of these and the last two layers are here we have got one beach girly here I got the doll from the flea market and I could buy her outfit separately so I will definitely keep her. Then this little girl also the school spirit Barbie. I really love her face. She has got beautiful eyes and I love her outfit. Unfortunately the black leather came off um, of her belt but well that's okay she's not a new girl then this one was also brand new in box and this is my second favorite after the animal loving barbie and i think this outfit is the coolest i really really love it then i could purchase mitch from this collection and she is also really 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 beautiful then I have a strolling fun Barbie and I really love that she also has beautiful stars in her eyes. That's why I fell in love with this little girly. And she also has her original outfit. The socks are missing but well. That's just only a little bit of a thingy. And I could purchase the dress and the little ruffle for this ruffle fun Barbie doll. She is really cool, the dress is brand new and I could purchase also bright pink shoes for her. The last dolly here is a birthday dolly with this beautiful rose earrings. She has got really soft hair. I bought this dress for her. It's not in the best condition but suits her very well. So if I can find a better one I'm going to sell this dress and uh, have a new one for her. And the beach ladies are here. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, this girl. I bought this dress for her. And this bikini is really cool on her, but I don't like her hair. 
Um, she had wavy hair, but I couldn't manage to put waves in here. She has got a beautiful face, but I think she has to go. So, not my favorite. I really love this little girly, and I also love her eyes. I'm fine with her hair. I couldn't make wavy hair for her, but I think she looks really cool with uh, the straight hair. Then, these are all original Barbies. And I have the Pearl Beach Theresa doll. She is really adorable. Then I have another Theresa doll. She's also really cute with this. I think she's the Sparkle Beach one. Yeah. And from the Sparkle Beach collection, I also have Kira. And I think she has got the most beautiful Kira face with the blue eyes. I think she is really gorgeous. Then I have got Barbie, and she has got beautiful eyes. I love this greenish blue together. She's really nice. And the last one here is this beauty, and I think she is very nice. And also, I like this bikini outfit, and this is my favorite from this collection. And I'm not planning to buy the others. I decided I'm going to choose the face of the doll and not the collection. I don't want to have complete collections because it would be impossible to collect all of these dollies. So I always think about that what um, face mold do I really like? Uh, what is the eye color, the eyeshadows, the makeup? And this is how I choose my dollies into my collection. Of course, as you can see here, I have got many dolls from the 90s, but they look really cool together. And uh, this is the main era what I would like to collect. So here there are just a few of them which must go. But, well, decisions, decisions. Maybe later I will say goodbye to more of my dollies. But now here there are just a few of them. So please write me in the comments that which era is your favorite and how do you manage your collection or how do you manage to downsize your collection because, well, it's very, very important to me nowadays. Thank you very much for watching this video. Have a nice day. Goodbye.